Cenk Uger and Kyle Kalinske got into a Twitter spat the other day and they were talking about morals. Cenk, of all people, was talking about morals. Cenk, as I've pointed out before, is owned by Jeffrey Katzenberg of DreamWorks to the tune of $20 million invested in the Young Turks. Jeffrey Katzenberg is a Hillary acolyte and a DNC operative, and therefore, so is Jink, because Jink is getting paid by him. Jink often likes to say, well, if people are giving you money, they're gonna expect something for it. Yeah. So Jink comes at Kyle with this bullshit idea that he's morally superior to Kyle because he's going to vote against Donald Trump. And by voting against Donald Trump, I mean, he's going to vote for someone equally reprehensible morally, if not politically. Now we all have to say politically, Donald Trump is worse than Joe Biden. Okay, we'll say it. But they're both dumpster fires, so what difference does it make? And then Jake says, I'm going to fight like hell to move him toward progressive positions. Yeah, Joe Biden's been around a long time and you're not gonna move him towards progressive positions. It's not like he's not weak enough to be pushed around, but he's owned by people who are much stronger than you are, Jenk. Just like you're owned by people who are much stronger than you are. No, Jenk, the morally defensible position is for all of us to push back against the owners directly. How can we do that? We can stop voting for corporate Democrats. That's how we can do that. That's what Crystal Ball said on your show. If Kyle comes on your show, that's what he'll say. You should see the recent episode of Kyle's show where he talks about all this. I'll merely point you in that direction. But this is one of the tweets that he came back with. Wait, so I might be morally inferior for not picking one of the two corrupt war criminals? Am I reading this right? I've already read this tweet on the show, so it's obviously bothering me. The same thing that's bothering me apparently is bothering Kyle because he talked about it on his show. It's bringing morals into it. And he said that he doesn't vote shame. He said, okay, if your argument is damage control, fine, you do you, I'll do me. Let's not vote shame each other. But I think it's immoral to be a sheepdog. I replied and said, "Welp, I've boiled it down. You utilitarians all come at this from the same basic stance. You want workers to keep doing their fucking job so you can keep ordering Uber Eats. When it comes to workers applying leverage to achieve human dignity, Nope. Even though Diddy may have some problems with his own workers, he did get this one right. He said black vote ain't free. To whom it may concern, it's called black leverage. Workers sticking together and using leverage is a time-honored tradition in this country and in many others. Papi Chuleman was talking about that with Fiorella Isabel yesterday, and it's so true. There's a long-standing tradition of workers uniting and sticking together and using leverage to get what they need. They use crippling work stoppages, they use protests, they get the job done. Using leverage against evil plutocrats is not morally ambiguous, it's morally superior. I think Jenk comes at this from a place of superiority and condescension because of the meritocracy idea that I talked about in my last clip. Jenk is having his own Karen moment Meritocracy seems to give him the idea that he's superior to the workers who walk people's dogs, or who drive trucks, or who deliver his Uber Eats. He earned it. Therefore, his stance is, how dare you not vote against Donald Trump? You must be privileged. No, Jenk, you must be privileged. Otherwise, you would not object to workers standing up against people like Jeff Bezos and Jeffrey Katzenberg. As Mike Figueredo points out, we need to get something back. But Charlemagne adds, there has to be a time when we stop putting the burden on black voters to show up for Democrats and start putting the burden on Democrats to show up for black voters. So here's Charlemagne the God talking to Mayor Pete. And he promised us tonight that he will not bullshit the black community. And he's not just blowing smoke up our ass to get our support. Really? No bullshit, I promise you, my man. So while we're on the subject of moral ambiguity, I think we need to talk about black leaders like Jim Clyburn, like Charlemagne the God, other people who are speaking, Diddy too, other people who are speaking on behalf of black people, maybe they should not suck up to power in an ambiguous way, morally. Mike points out correctly that it's okay to make demands on politicians. It's okay to say that they need to deliver the goods 
in order to get our support, I'd like to hear him come right out and say it's morally wrong to support Joe Biden, to whom it may concern. It's called black leverage. Black vote ain't free. So Crystal and Sagar are talking about this too, but the best anyone seems able to do is say, don't vote shame us because we want to use leverage to get concessions from the Democrats. No, I think it's okay to hold people accountable for their decisions. If you vote for Donald Trump, that's a bad decision. People ought to be able to criticize that decision. If you vote for Joe Biden, that's a bad decision. People ought to be able to criticize you on a moral basis for that decision. And this is a touchy subject, but whether you're black or brown or white or yellow or any other color, purple, voting for the lesser evil is voting for evil. We've got to stop doing that shit. Moral ambiguity is killing us. It is immoral to vote for Joe Biden. Duh, it just is. Voting for someone else who much better reflects my values, like maybe Howie Hawkins, is legit. None of the above is legit if there are no candidates who match my values. I'm not morally culpable for the actions of politicians for whom I refuse to vote. Jenk is a sheepdog. He loses the moral high ground as a result. Jenk is a sheepdog because he is getting paid by Jeffrey Katzenberg to be a sheepdog. His talent agency execs at Creative Artists Agency want him to be a sheepdog. David Brock is one of the captains of his team. Russiagate was created by the DNC for very specific purposes, the same purposes as Vote Blue no matter who. And the captains of his team are the ones who created all those narratives. If you want to know how Cenk will argue, all you need to see are his income streams. When it comes to Cenk, we know who his owners are. We know who his masters are. End of argument.